drop more bombs on Hamburg and fell on London in the whole of the war. It's been difficult for you too, I expect. For all of us. Lewis Morgan, he's a colonel in the British Army. He's in charge of Hamburg, which is the British section of, you know, of Germany when it was divided up after World War II. It's chaos out there, Rachel. There's nowhere to put these people. There's nowhere to... nothing to feed these people. This isn't how it was supposed to be. None of this is how it is supposed to be. And yet here we are. Lewis is busy rebuilding Hamburg. We're dealing with displaced people, refugees, starvation, the denazification of a, of a whole people who've been brainwashed. Hi. Hitler. He hasn't seen much of his wife during the past, you know, couple of years as, you know, as the war's raged on. He's a different man. Please don't go. I had a job to do. His way of dealing with grief is to simply not talk about it, shut down, and not in any way give her the support that she needs, which pushes her into finding some solace somewhere else. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm losing my mind. He's a bit of a war hero. So it was important that Jason had authority, a sort of alpha male quality, but also with a kind of gentle interior, because you need to know that he loves Rachel. And I think Jason worked so brilliantly on that level. At the heart of the aftermath is optimism. How does a husband and a wife find a way ahead? How does a world put themselves back together after this hatred?